operating system on it straight from Motorola firmware. The first step you got to do, you want to hit the power down button and then you want to hit the volume down button. So volume down button and the power button, same time, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, let go. It's going to bring you to this screen. It's a fast boot screen. You're just going to leave it there and I'm going to take you to my computer so I can show you what files you need in order to proceed. All right, the first thing you got to do is you want to download your Motorola G second generation drivers. So scroll down to it says download for Windows. Once you click on that, you should get this right here. Click on it. And then since I already have the drivers installed, mine will just say repair or remove. So you're going to want to just hit proceed with installation and just install like normal. I'm going to cancel that since I already have him. The next thing you need to get is the Android SDK tools. So I'm going to search that for Android SDK tools. It should be the second link. You want to download Eclipse ADT. Scroll down. I agree. 32 bit or a 64. I have 64. You want to hit download. And since I already have it, it's going to be right here. It, it will download as a zip file. You're going to want to right click it and extract it to your desktop, which is right here. Once you have that, you're going to want to go to your C drive. On your C drive, you're just going to want to right click it and move it to the C drive and move here. It is Since I already have it, I'm not going to do it. So once you have that, you're going to want to open that, click SDK, Platform Tools. Once you're on this screen, you're going to hold the shift button and then right click anywhere on the screen open command window here so once that's open just minimize it and minimize this too as well so the next thing you gotta do is unlock your bootloader this will avoid your warranty but you need this in order for it to go through so you want to go to the Motorola website there will be a link everything on my website scroll down hit next and then you're gonna have to sign in I'm already signed in so it will ask you with Google or with an email so right here it is telling you you need your Android SDK tools which you already have your Motorola USB drivers already have it the next thing you gotta do you gotta put your phone in the fast boot mode which you are already on so you wanna type in these commands fast boot OEM data and I will show you how to do that so put your phone on fast boot mode So you want to copy that, you want to open up your local C drive, ADT, SDK, platform tools, you want to hold the shift key and, the, and right click, open command prompt here, okay, so the next thing is your phone should already be on the fast boot mode remember it's the power down sorry the volume down and the power button so volume down power button for about five seconds and then plug in your USB which that is the fast boot mode so once you have that you want to type in fast boot devices and there it is next thing you want to do is you want to copy this command or just type in fastboot OEM get underscore unlock underscore data hit enter and this right here is your code you will have your own code and you want to minimize that you want to scroll down where it says step 6 check if your device can be unlocked so you want to copy that code you can right click it hit mask you want to copy all that so just dragging it right clicking it copies it you want to paste it okay once that is paste you cannot leave any spaces in between so go through it so I'm gonna go through it here's the space right here And it is very important to sign in with an email you have because they will send you your code. 
right there's a space right there's a space and right there's a space okay once then you hit can my device be unlocked it's gonna verify it you're gonna scroll down you're gonna accept I agree request an unlock key and, and it'll tell you unless you're a developer this will avoid your warranty are you sure you're gonna hit OK it says you should receive an email with the unlock key so I already have that email so I'm gonna go to my Gmail here's my code that's my unlock code so once you're on there you want to type in fastboot devices to make sure it's still connected okay so it is and then you want to type in fastboot OEM unlock and then space and then right click and hit paste for your code and then you're gonna to want to hit enter since I already have it I'm not gonna hit enter your if you did this correctly this should give you back this should give you the warning bootloader unlocked. And congratulations, your device will now reboot and you will see the screen.